Hi Leo, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all right and well wherever you are. Um, now Leo, this is your Fairy Oracle reading for July 2021 or thereabouts. Uh, it could well resonate a little bit beyond that time. Uh, I've pre-shuffled your cards uh, to get your energy into the cards. So I'll just do a final shuffle now. Um, it is a general reading, Leo, so um, it, take what resonates with you. Um, leave the rest behind or for somebody else. Um, I'll start off with the um, Animal Spirit Oracle cards and just to get your reading started and see what those energies want to say to you. Whoops, that all went wrong. So we have um, Eagle Spirit, so it's saying that Spirit has your back, so that's a lovely energy to start with, Leo, um, Spirit has your back, you're being protected and you're being guided. And Squirrel Spirit, so believe in yourself, very important, if you're starting to doubt yourself or you've, you're feeling um, a little bit insecure about something. Um, not sure, lacking in confidence, uh, but Squirrel Spirit is saying uh, you must believe in yourself, you know, you have what it takes, Leo. So I'll just do a final shuffle now of the Fairy Oracle. So we have the heart of your reading, what the challenges are, what's in your power times two, possible outcome, um, and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Singer of Courage, and this is very much your energy, Leo. Um, within Tarot, you, you are the Lion. Um, you are the Strength card. Um, so you know this is very much your card so this but this is about being courageous being strong and courageous um in a certain area you know drawing on your inner strength to do with the situation so i'll just pop that to one side um, and then a final shuffle to clarify the cards on the table please And at the bottom of the deck we have the sage, um, and this is about wisdom, intuition and wisdom. Um, and so what the sage does, whatever he sees, um, he gets a, a knowledge and understanding by uh, going inward with that information. So he has one eye that sees and one eye that's blanked out, but that's because it's looking inward. So he uses um, whatever he sees, he, he gains knowledge, he draws on his knowledge. Um, and then he, he, he goes inside um, and he gains wisdom from that knowledge. Um, so this is very a very contemporary energy. This is a very up-to-date wisdom. Um, so he understands about modern-day situations and modern-day energies. Um, so there's something here about tapping into your inner wisdom um, your no, no, your the knowledge that's been gained over time. All right. So I'll just put that to one side, and that that goes next to the courage. So it's using your courage, drawing on your inner strength, but also you drawing on your um, your intuition, your inner wisdom about a situation. So let's see where this is going for you, Leo. So at the heart of your reading. We have the Fairy Godmother and the Friends. Um, now the Fairy Godmother, beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, this is a gift. This is a gift of an opportunity, something being offered to you now, an opportune time. Um, and uh, so it's a, a good omen of some sort. The other, the other meaning of the Fairy Godmother um, is that if, if you are a, somebody that gives a lot of herself or his self, 
you know just be mindful to always hold something back so don't over give don't give give yourself away um you know you are who you are and you you know you you are a giver um and that's what you like to do and that's your nature however you must always hold something back to keep your energy build up your energies so the fairy godmother is offering this beautiful apple here but she holds the uh, quartz sphere back and that's what she draws her energy from so you always need to have um, a source of energy to draw on for yourself here um, but I feel that this is also this is a an opportune time here that there's a universal gift now going to be offered now um, the clarifier is is friends and and this is where you know our friendships uh, are so important so you know being with and spending time with others who have the same vision who are on the same page as ourselves and that makes our journey so much easier because we understand each other and um, they, they see it, it's seamless you see so the the hedgehog is as every confidence in his friend holding him up uh, and taking him forward um, and and the friend you know he has no problem holding the hedgehog up because it's, they, they, they think alike, they're going in the same direction. So there's total trust there with the friendship. And this is a gift. There's, the friend, there's fr a friendship or some friendships that, for you, Leo, going forward, this is a gift, a, a gift of opportunity. But don't give too much of yourself to this. Remember to always, always hold something back. They're beautiful energies for you, Leo, coming out. So what are the challenges for you at this time? Well, we've got Spirit Dancer and She of the Croash. Now, um, the Spirit Dancer, this is this is be dancing your authentic dance, being who you are, who you are always meant to be, you know, and, and going forward confidently and, and being yourself, dancing your dance, nobody else's dance. But this is a challenge for you at this time and it's probably because if you are the, a very much a giver here then you know it's very difficult to stay authentic to yourself perhaps or do what you want to do for yourself because it probably doesn't come naturally to you um if especially if you're somebody that puts others first um and yes the clarifier is she of the croash this is the feminine principle so, you know, this is saying, you know, you, you, you embody all the, um, you know, elements of, of, of femininity. It, it's not gender specific, Leo. Um, it's the energy of uh, the feminine energy, which is about nurturing, um, creativity, compassion and empathy, giving very much of yourself. So this is very much about... Um, embodying you know the feminine principles uh, and being yourself you know being yourself but these are the challenges for you at this time it's difficult for you um, to do this um, at this time it's not going to last forever it's just at this time Leo So what is in your power at this time? Well, we have the the loom and we have the fairy who was kissed by the pixies. So the loom, this is, um, funnily enough, we've been talking about not giving too much, always say, but the loom is about giving unconditionally, giving of yourself or whatever it is you were able to give, giving that unconditionally without any any conditions attached to it. But I also, as a reader, say that this is also being open to receiving unconditionally also. I feel that's important. So it's about giving, uh, but also receiving. Now, um, the fairy was kissed by the pixies. She's truly blessed. She feels truly blessed. She's loved by all the pixies around her. Um, they all appreciate her qualities and just appreciate her being there. And, and she feels that, she feels the love from everybody around her uh, and she's feeling truly blessed. 
Um, so I feel this uh, this is because this is in your power position. Um, I feel that you are, you know, you do feel truly blessed um, and, you know, want to share that. I feel you want to share this energy with others, perhaps with friends, um, friends and family, community. And because, you know, it's such a beautiful feeling, isn't it? Um, and, but, but, I mean, you know, people love you around you and appreciate you because of what you offer also i feel i have to say that it's, it's what you bring to the table unconditionally that is uh, to make you that that people love you and um, helps you to feel you know they feel blessed by having you around leo okay so beautiful energies now what else is in your power well we have Lisa of the Shadows and we have Geo the Slow. Now, um, Lisa of the Shadows, this is very much about um, if there has been a trauma or something with very difficult that's happened uh, over time to you and around you, um, and it's saying it's now a time of healing, it's now you're ready, you're in the right place now for the healing journey to start to recover from whatever it is that's been very difficult for you. So, you know, it's a good time now, you know, for this this healing to start. Um, and we've got Geo the Slow here. Uh, and Geo the Slow um, is a very steady energy. Uh, he likes, he's very comfortable, nestled into the ivy that's attached to the tree. And he's very happy to just watch the world go by. So this is very much about slowing down. Um, taking a break, having time out. It may be to do with having a holiday for some of you. Um, and that's going to help in this process of healing from whatever's been difficult in the past. You know, take time out, slow down, um, and perhaps focus on yourself um, for a change and for a little while. You know, whatever it is that makes you happy, that brings you joy, Now, a possible possible outcome here, we have Gluminous Loom and we have Lace Moon's Daughter. Um, Gluminous Loom, is this is an energy of when our glass is half empty rather than being half full. So looking, uh, looking at things negatively, looking on the dark side, you know, can't see any positives in a situation. So somebody, it's either yourself or somebody around you has got this... Um, half glass, half empty glass energy. Um, now, Laced Moon's Daughter sheds light on a situation, so I feel that light um, is going to be shed on a situation um, that you are currently feeling very negative about, or somebody next to you, close to you, is feeling very negative about, uh, expecting the worst. Um, but light is going to be shed on this situation, I feel, and hopefully going to reveal um, a, a situation that's going to change um, this energy. So, um, yeah, so we have a look here. So spirit has your back, so you've got the universal support here and the need to believe in yourself. I need to believe in yourself so you can move on from the um, gluminous loom energy. So what would your guides like to say to you now? Well, we have Mikla Muckle and we have Indy. So your guides want to say to you, um, Mikla Muckle is very much the childlike energy. Um, now, this can be referring to a child or children. Um, or this is very much the energy of, you know, a need for you just to take each minute, each day at a time to tap into a youthful childlike energy where you're not thinking about the past, you're not bothered about the future, you're just enjoying the moment. So that very, very much in the moment energy. Um, you know, 
let go of any worries just enjoy what's happening within you and around you um, all right and so the clarifier is indy and indy is the wishy-washy energy so can't make the mind up so indy can't make a mind up whether to uh, go with this sphere she has here or whether to uh, go with the little sphere behind her so she's always she can't make a mind up so very you know um very difficult energy very frustrating um for people around and and for uh, and for indy herself because she, she wants she would like to make a mind up but she can't so that's that sort of an energy so there's something here about um perhaps a need to make a decision but finding it difficult to make a decision uh, about a child perhaps something to do with a child or children um or you know that it's that it's difficult to make your mind up or a, a decision um to um relax a little bit and relax a little bit and enjoy life and enjoy the moment um you're finding it difficult it's difficult for you to be able to do that and because if we look at the challenge position the challenge for you was to be yourself just to do your dance, be your authentic self as part of your uh, the feminine part of your energy and tap into the feminine side of yourself and just embrace that, to embrace that so, you know, just a decision to switch off and have fun I think, perhaps that's what this is saying because right at the heart of your reading was the fairy godmother which you know a, a gift of something being offered and it's definitely to do with friendships and and, en and enjoyment and you know enjoying the journey together with your friends friends family community but it's probably a little bit difficult for you at this time um, and probably because of the difficulties that and you now need to start to heal from and to recover from this have led to this uh, sort of a neg negative um, outlook although light is going to be shed you're going to be more aware of that I feel you're going to become more aware of that and that perhaps is what Laced Moon's daughter is going to shed light on for you this sort of bit of a negative energy either within yourself or around you Well, I'm going to leave it there for you Leo I hope you've enjoyed the reading uh, I've certainly enjoyed doing this reading for you it's very interesting the different energies that have come forward um, but good luck and um, I hope you can join me again in the future bye bye for now